Jack Bogle, the founder and former CEO of Vanguard, passed away in 2019, but he left behind an amazing legacy and a gift for individual investors like you and I, the index fund. According to Warren Buffett, Jack Bogle did more for the American investors as a whole than any individual that I've known. So in salute to Jack Bogle's legacy, let me share with you Jack Bogle's 10 simple rules for investment success. Just FYI, these rules are straight out of Jack Bogle's 2012 book, The Clash of the Cultures. So if you want to delve deeper into some of the rules we'll cover in this video, I highly recommend you checking that book out. I'll have a link in the description below. And hi, if you're new to China, my name is Tay from Financial Tortoise, where we learn to grow our wealth slow and steady. Jack Bogle's rule number one for investment success. Remember the reversion to the mean. Reversion to the mean is a theory used in finance that states that asset price volatility and historical returns will eventually revert to long run mean or average level of the entire data set. For example, there might be a stock that is swinging far above its underlying value currently. However, what the reversion to the mean states is that with time, the stock will eventually revert to a long run average that aligns with its fair value. It might swing really low, then high again, and somewhere in between. But over a long period of time, it will revert to the mean. The bottom line is this, that trying to select a stock or a fund based on today or yesterday's performance will result in no better performance tomorrow. Today's hot stock or a hot fund could be tomorrow's dud. So don't try to pick stocks or even pick winning mutual funds based on historical performance. Jack Bogle's rule number two for investment success. Time is your friend, impulse is your enemy. Essentially, think long-term and leverage time as your friend, especially when it comes to investing your money. Many people scoff at returns like 6% or even 8%. Yes, they're not that impressive when you look at it in a short time frame. I invested $10,000 at 8% last year, and I only earned $800 this year. What can I do with $800 in returns? I want to make more. Double or triple my money tomorrow. So many people get swayed into riskier, and frankly, ridiculous schemes to make money quickly. Not realizing that many are not based on sound assets. But if you kept that $10,000 invested at 8%, for 10 years, do you know what your investment would have become? Over $20,000. Yes, it took a little while, but your money essentially doubled without you doing anything. And see what happens when you leave that money for 20 years. That initial $10,000 is now almost $50,000, close to five times the original amount. And how about 30 years? Over $100,000, 10 times the original investment. And remember, you did not contribute any extra money. This all came from that initial $10,000. All you gave it was time. So remember, time is your friend. Don't get impulsive when it comes to investing. Give it time and you will be rewarded. Jack Bogle's rule number three for investment success. Buy right and hold tight. Time is an important factor to growing your wealth, but it's not the only factor. You want to ensure that you have your money invested in the right place so you can get good returns for your money. And given Jack Bogle essentially pioneered index funds, you can probably guess what his buying right looks like, right? Broad market, low cost index funds. Jack Bogle founded the first index fund in 1976 that tracked the S&P 500. 50 years later, we have so many more to choose from. However, for me, there are a few that stands out from the rest, most notably the total market index funds. Essentially, funds that track all the companies in the US stock market, not just the biggest 500. At the time of this video, there are approximately 4,000 publicly traded companies in the US stock market. So what are the specific funds? Here are my personal favorite total market index funds from the major investment firms. If you invest with Vanguard, the Vanguard Total Stock Market Index Fund, also known as VTSAX. If you invest with Fidelity, the Fidelity Total Market Index Fund, also known as FSKAX. If you invest with Charles Schwab, the Schwab Total Stock Market Index Fund, also known as SWTSX. However, if you want to stick to the S&P 500, not a problem. To be honest, there's minimal difference between the total market and the S&P 500 funds. Here is a list of my personal favorite S&P 500 funds from the major investment firms. If you're invested with Vanguard, the Vanguard 500 Index Fund, also known as VFIAX. If you're invested with Fidelity, the Fidelity 500 Index Fund, also known as FXAIX. If you're invested with Charles Schwab, the Schwab S&P 500 Index Fund, also known as SWPPX. Bottom line, once you have your investing plan, Mine is investing all my money in a low-cost broad market index fund. Write it down, then follow it. Once you get your balance right, then just hold tight, no matter how high a greedy stock market flies, nor how low a frightened market plunges. A quick reminder, if you're enjoying this video and would like a summary of everything I'm covering here, 
Make sure to download your free companion guide PDF that summarizes all the things that I'm covering in this video. Whenever I encounter useful information, like all this invaluable wisdom from Mr. Jack Bogle, I love to capture it so I can remember it in the future. Well, how to do that with this video? No worries, my friend. I've done that for you via this free PDF. So make sure to go to the link I'll have in the description below to grab your free copy. Jack Bogle's rule number four for investment success. Have realistic expectations. When playing around with forecast calculators, it's fun to input high investment returns and see how big our investment will grow. At 10% projected annual returns, our portfolio will double in approximately seven to eight years. You put in 12%, now you can cut that number down to six years. Not bad, right? How about if I put in 20%? Holy cow, less than four years. And given that the market has done really well the past decade, there's a good chance you could give me that level of return, maybe more, right? However, remember that past performance is not a guarantee of future performance. What happened in the past will not play out exactly in the future. The market, companies, and the world as a whole 50 years ago is very different from today. Jack Vogel once mentioned in a Wall Street Journal article this. Investing, he says, always is an act of trust in the ability of the civilization in the U.S. to continue to flourish, in the ability of corporations to continue through efficiency and entrepreneurship and innovation to provide substantial returns. But he goes on to add that not even American greatness is guaranteed in the future. The past is not a good predictor of the future. So understand this fact and have realistic expectations. Personally, I like to dial back my expectations of future returns, maybe to even 8% or even 6%. In this way, I can focus more on what I can control today. Managing my expenses, saving more, earning more, and investing more. And if the market does give higher returns than expected, it is a nice gift that we can appreciate and we're not disappointed by unmet expectations. Jack Bogle's rule number five for investment success. Forget the needle, buy the haystack. Investing in equities, according to Jack Bogle, entails four risks. One, stock risk. Knowing what stocks will perform better than others. Two, style risk. Different investing styles and strategies to meet one's investment goals. Three, manager risk. The performance difference between how one fund manager performs in relation to the other. And four, market risk. How the market as a whole will perform. And in order to manage for all these risks, many of us get busy trying to find the right stock, right fund, and the right financial advisor who can give us an edge. We spend countless hours reading about the latest hot companies. We review past fund performance in Morningstar as if it was a Bible. And we spend way too much time watching TV interviews and YouTube videos about how to win in the stock market. Essentially, trying to find a very small needle in a very large haystack. However, the fact is that as we alluded to earlier, what worked yesterday often fails to work tomorrow. Just because a company performed well the past 10 years is not a guarantee that it will continue to perform well going forward. There are so many variables, management, competition, economy, customer preference, etc. the list goes on. So what to do? Well, to be honest, there's not much you can do with the first three risks, stock, style, and manager risk. No matter how hard you try, it is extremely hard to control for them. So Jack Bogle says to just eliminate them. Eliminate them by simply owning the entire stock market. This way, you're just left with one risk, the market risk. The risk you need to take if you want to give your money the chance to appreciate. Owning the entire stock market is the ultimate diversifier for the stock allocation of the portfolio. When you understand how hard it is to find that needle, Simply buy the haystack. Jack Bogle's rule number six for investment success. Minimize the crew PA's take. For those of you guys who don't know what a crew PA is, think of the guy sitting at the head of a gambling table, responsible for gathering in and paying out money or tokens to the players. In simple terms, a dealer representing the casino. I'm pretty sure I don't have the exact definition here because I don't gamble, but you get the gist. Jack Bogle likes to compare the cost of investments in commissions, spreads, and management fee to the crew PAs take, the cost of playing the game. And when we don't keep an eye on the cost of playing the game, it doesn't matter how well we're performing, our piece of what we get to take home is decimated. Take a look at this example. Let's say that the market return is 8% before cost. However, the cost of investing is approximately 2%. In this case, you as the investor only get to capture the difference, 8 minus 2, which is 6%. If you invest $10,000 into the market and you get 6% annual return, 50 years from now, your $10,000 will have appreciated to $184,000. Not bad, but let's see how well you would have done if you had captured all 8% of the market return. If you invest $10,000 into the market and you get 8% annual return, 
50 years from now, your $10,000 would have appreciated to $469,000. 184,000 versus $469,000. By giving away 2% in expenses, you gave away close to $300,000 in appreciation. Whereas if you had eliminated the 2% in expenses, your money would have grown to almost three times what it would have been. Bottom line, fees matter and they matter a lot. Do not ignore them. Know what you're paying in expenses and work hard to minimize them as much as possible. In the mutual fund industry, you not only don't get what you pay for, you get precisely what you don't pay for. Jack Bogle's rule number seven for investment success. Recognize there is no escaping risk. When it comes to investing, many people look for certainties, assurances. They essentially want risk-free guarantees. However, the fact is that there is no such thing as a risk-free guarantee. This is true in life and in investing. When you're putting your money in the market to build long-term wealth, you're naturally taking risk. So the question isn't, is this risky or not risky? Rather, it is what kind of risk do I want to take? Risk of putting my money in a safe savings account and not giving it the chance to grow? Or the risk of putting my money in the stock market, which could seem risky in the short run, but is actually one of the best chances for it to grow in the long run? Yes, when you look at the stock market and you see all the volatility, it's easy to feel like it's an unpredictable beast. And the roof is falling, alarm-filled news pieces and articles do not help. However, when you have a low-cost, well-diversified exposure to the stock market, there's a very good chance your portfolio will grow over the long term. It is hard to know if a single company will do well or not do well over the next decade. But all the companies as a whole will continue to innovate, create amazing new products for the market, and maximize their profit lines. And these profits will be redeployed to create more products and earn additional returns. So if you want to take advantage of this growth, you want to take the risk of investing in the market. Just know that the ride will be bumpy. It will have a lot of ups and downs, but over the long run, it will be worth it. Jack Bogle's rule number eight for investment success. Beware of fighting the last war. Just as our militaries are often fighting today's war in the same way they fought the last war, too many investors are constantly making investment decisions based on what happened in the past. We tout tech stocks as the best thing since sliced bread after they had their great bull run. And we run out to buy more tech stocks. We constantly tweak our investment strategy to mitigate for high inflation because that was the talk of the town the past three years. And we jump out of the stock market after a recent market plunge because we know it will continue to plummet. However, as stated earlier, the future is unknown. Just because tech stocks did well the past 10 years doesn't mean they'll continue to be the darling of the stock market for the next 10 years. Just because inflation ravaged the economy the past three years, that doesn't mean it will continue to going forward. And the recent market plunge? It could be the start of a recession, or it could just be a market blip. Only history will tell, and anyone who says they know what will happen in the near future, in all frankness, is full of air. So be aware of what is happening around us, but also be careful not to let it drive our long-term investing decisions. You should not ignore the past, but neither should you assume that a particular cyclical trend will last forever. Jack Bogle's rule number nine for investment success. The hedgehog best the fox. To Jack, the fox represents financial institutions trying their slight tricks, trying to wring out as much money from the individual investors as possible. On the other hand, the hedgehog represents the individual investor, whose sharp spines give it almost impregnable armor when it curls into a ball. And it knows this one great thing when it comes to investing. Long-term investment success is based on simplicity. The whole investment management and financial advisor world justify their existence by propagating the notion that an investor can only survive with their professional expertise and sophisticated market strategies. Do you want to invest? You need us. Don't you know how complex the market is or investing is? How are you going to know what stocks to buy or what funds to buy? You need our expertise. And they provide their supposed assistance at a hefty price in the form of investment expenses. However, the hedgehog knows the truth, that the truly great investment strategy succeeds not because of its complexity or its cleverness, but because of its simplicity and its low cost. It knows that if it is diversified broadly, buys and holds, and keeps expenses to a bare bones minimum, it will beat out most of the slide boxes in the long run. The ultimate hedgehog is the all market index fund, operated at minimal cost and with minimal portfolio turnover, which virtually guarantee that you will capture nearly 100% of the market's return. Jack Bogle's final and rule number 10 for investment success. Stay the course. The secret to winning and investing is that there is no secret. There is no secret magic formula that all the billionaire investors are using to make money in the market. There is no perfect forecasting tool that can precisely predict the future stock price of Tesla or Google. And there is no hidden financial instrument that all the successful investors are using. Winning and investing is straightforward, 
clear as daylight, and available for anyone to follow. Own the entire stock market through a low-cost broad market index fund and hold it as long as possible. That is it. However, don't mistake its simplicity as being easy. While the formula and the methodology is simple and straightforward, it is really hard to implement. Why? Because it requires discipline, patience, and steadfastness. However, if you're watching this video, I'm confident you have all these traits and you will become a successful investor. So as Jack Bogle would say, stay the course. Thank you guys for watching. In the line of learning from some amazing investors, if you want to learn from another investing legend, Charlie Munger, please check out my video here. Until next time, all the best.